The Matan Interlink Bridge Project will transform the infrastructure landscape of the Philippines. Spanning the mouth of the world-famous Manila Bay, the project will provide a vital transportation link for the region and the nation. At 32 kilometers long, the new iconic gateway will drastically cut travel time between the provinces of Cavite and Bataan from 4 to 5 hours down to only 30 minutes. The project is made up of six main components. On the south end, a new highway connection will link the existing roads in Cavite to the bridge. Out over the water, a low causeway structure called the Marine Viaduct carries vehicles along the majority of the interchange, which allows for turnarounds and will connect to the island as part of a future project. The North Channel Crossing spans and finally, back on land, the highway extends to connect to the existing roadways in Bataan Province. For a detailed look into each of these project components, we return south to Cavite. Here in Nike, we see how the new highway connects to the existing Entero Seriano Highway and heads alongside Timalan Balsahan before passing through the new gateway entry monument at the water's edge. A curving alignment that is derived from the connectivity and navigational constraints. It also creates a pleasantly dynamic driving experience. Deep marine foundations provide stability for all the piers, and the simple single column pier design creates a clean and contemporary visual rhythm. The roadway structure changes from concrete box girders of the marine viaducts to lighter steel boxes tied together with cross struts. The road deck is 80 meters above the water and the full tower height. Tower design unlike any other in the world. Folded steel inlay gives the insides of the towers a textured feel reminiscent of the thatched palm roofs found on indigenous Filipino houses. This distinction from the smooth gray concrete breaks down the scale of the tower into light, thin blades. The tower tops are asymmetrically angled and the pair of towers mirror each other, like bookends framing the channel. The architectural lighting for both cable stay structures includes three components tower illumination grazing the recesses along the height of the tower, cable all fixtures are durable LEDs, and the entire bridge commence on the inside surfaces, facing the traffic. The perspective of approaching the towers from far away, and then getting closer and closer, will reveal new details every time the light and shadow change throughout the seasons. The open steel rail barriers allow users to fully enjoy the magnificent views of the surrounding landscape. From the roadway, you can feel how the structure above envelops you, like driving through a cathedral of cables. As the middle segment of the marine viaduct nears Corregidor Island, simple off and on ramps in each direction allow drivers to change direction on the highway. A future project will connect a road from the island to this interchange. Due to its differing proportions from the south channel, the roadway deck this time is a frame system comprised of steel girders and floor beams. The deck is lifted 47 meters above the water, and the full tower height is 181. Their sister structures, and the rest of the components of the project, make up the remaining family of forms within their theme. The architectural lighting for the North Channel Crossing is the same as for the South Channel. The roadway lights for the full project are long-lasting LED fixtures and may be powered by solar panels on top. Their custom design poles are vertical throughout the standard marine viaduct portion of the project, but at the two cable stay crossings, they angle to match the inclination of the cables. As part of the family of forms, the marine viaduct piers share a similar textured inset with a curved base to match the towers, and the twin high-level approach piers that lead up to both cable stay crossings have an extra single stripe of matching teal steel down their sides. The piers throughout the project are all comprised of precast concrete segments. 
As we near the end of the bridge crossing, it's nice to reflect on the journey of implementing the project. After completion of the feasibility report in 2019, the project began detailed engineering design in 2020. And with the cooperation and coordination of many government agencies, this final design phase will conclude in 2022 or early 2023. Four to five years of construction will follow, bringing with it at least 3,000 new jobs, and the possible opening date for the bridge is late 2027 or early 2028. Finally, as the bridge reaches the shore in Bataan, it passes through another gateway entry monument before continuing up the hill toward Mount View, where it connects to the Roman Superhighway.